he came out after his dog? Yeah. Go ahead. When we were on the ground, I was trying to get the dog to release, trying to keep my dog from pulling away so he wouldn't do any more damage. I was trying to, you know, I punched the dog a couple of times, the dog wouldn't release, so I put my hands in his... When you say it wouldn't release, what was he holding he on to? He was just holding on up here. The back side of his ear. And my dog was gave out a scream. So I grabbed the dog by the jaws and opened its jaws, got the dogs apart. He pulled his dog away. I got my dog up, but then his dog broke free again and attacked again. This time he only got hair. So we pulled him apart. I took my dog across the street and was petting him and comforting him and trying to check for wounds. He was laying on top of his dog and he yelled at me to get away because he couldn't keep, his dog was starting to get back up. He couldn't keep him down, so I had to leave. So I went back down La Paz, back to my house. What did he say to you when he said, Leave. He just says, get away, I can't, get away, he's getting free, I can't hold him. Something along those lines, like get away. So we hurried away. Your version, Mr. Boyle. I was <clears throat> taking uh, my lap. Just be careful. I was taking my... Do you my... understand yeah. what I'm saying to you? Certainly. I'm going to tell you why. Because there is no question in my mind that he's going to present me with vet bills that are going to show that his dog was bitten on the date he indicated September 30th. So it would have to be a huge leap of serendipity or coincidence for me to believe that during the same walk that he was taking, sometime after he encountered your dog, another dog bit him on the ear. Do you understand? Yes. So that's too much of a coincidence, too much serendipity. So there's, despite what you say in your answer that nothing happened, in this exchange, he's going to be able to show me proof to the contrary, that something happened. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Since I don't believe what you wrote here in your answer, which is, I tried to break up the fight, and I was able to put my hand inside my dog's mouth, preventing his dog from being injured. All the while, the owner did nothing and just looked on. The plaintiff checked his dog, thanked me for stepping in. He took his dog and left. That's what you say happened. That's a whole different story. And that's a story that would not be supported by vet bills. Do you understand? Yes. Great. Well, his very, my very first contact with this person over this issue was through the subpoena, and he made a false statement in his subpoena where he says Do you understand that, what I just said to you? I do. Good. Now, bearing in mind that if he produces a vet bill for September 30th, I'm going to find that what you wrote here, at least with regard to no injury, is a lie. Well, I do was, you understand? I was never given... Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Bearing that in mind, and before I look at the vet bills, I don't want you to tell me what he said in the subpoena was wrong. I want you to tell me your version, which should be a truthful version, of what happened on that day. Okay. Do you understand? I understand. Perfect. Now, I'm waiting. Okay. I was heading outside with my last load of laundry to my car. I noticed that when I did, I noticed his dog was in my yard off of the leash with the leash trailing behind him. My dog had run up to it and it looked like they were going to be friendly for a minute, but then it immediately went to a fight. But I was two feet behind my dog and I pretty much tackled him, put my hand, one hand in his mouth like this so he couldn't bite down and the other hand I used a technique that's approved. It, it doesn't hurt the animal, but you gently and firmly press in on their larynx and it causes them to have to gag. So they're not able to bite. So I was on top of that dog in like two seconds. And then he had run over around the, the wall. And then... He, Where did you learn that technique? Online. I, I really? Yes. Because I didn't want... Know, I, you, I had heard about pit bulls being able to clamp down, and I didn't want any animal to have a one-up on me. I, <laughs> I, I, 